All right, as promised, um, this is the new shop. And I'm gonna take you guys inside, give you a look. It's about 1,200 square feet. These three bays are connected. There's a fourth bay in here. And we're gonna go ahead and enter through that door. So, just got all my stuff. Got a little keypad access, which is nice. I just got all my stuff in here in the last, I don't know, two days, a few days, I don't know. I started moving it on Monday. It's Friday right now. And uh, yeah, my back is sore. <laughs> so this side of the shop, um, this is going to be probably like an office uh, and also where I can like spray and finish things. Then I'm going to have my laser over here. Um, I put all my lumber on this side for now. Um, just because with all the craziness of moving, this was the best spot for it. Um, dog cages in here because my dog got sprayed by a skunk our first night here. So she slept here. And um, yeah, so lasers over here. The old homeowner, he used this as his woodworking room. He's got some dust collection and stuff going on. But um, I'm going to be woodworking mostly on the other side. But this thing does have an exhaust that goes straight outside so that's nice because i'm going to hook my laser directly up to that uh, tube and vent it outside so this side of the shop is about 12 foot by 25 foot deep i'm going to keep these cabinets over here um because they're fine debate that that's a miter station hiding behind all that lumber might keep that probably going to get rid of it though I think I'm going to take this down too. But anyways, let's enter into the three car garage portion. This is about 35 by 25. So um, it is just packed with stuff right now. Um, so I got a lot of organizing to do. Um, we have a dedicated 100 amp sub panel over there. Um, lots of 110 outlets over in there. We got a 220 over there in the corner and 110s all around here. Um, we're going to add some more, probably 220 outlets. Um, but it came with uh, a, a furnace right there to heat the shop. The ceiling is insulated, which is nice. Came with a bunch of cabinets, but unfortunately, I'm probably going to be ripping most of these out tomorrow. I'm definitely taking all of those out and that tall cabinet that one and that one up there might stay but we'll see so this guy was a big harley davidson fan um that's why the garage is painted like this but i am a big browns fan so it kind of works for me <laughs> keeping these colors um better yet my neighbor at my old house he had some browns signage that he gave me and i'm gonna hang those up so that will be very nice but continuing on over here we got some bikes that will be hung up on the ceiling right there he had some pull a pulley system already there for bikes those cabinets are probably going to come off the wall might do a miter station on this wall who knows and then um, right here, it's nice. He's got some industrial style racking uh, for plywood, sheet goods. Not sure what I want to put under here yet. Maybe clamps, maybe wood storage. I'm not sure. Um, another huge bonus. Oops, almost tripped. Another huge bonus the guy left me was this ginormous air compressor. Um, and there's drop downs. There's one right here. There's a nice reel. And then there's one on the other side of the shop too, through those double doors. And then he's got some two electric, electrical wheels or whatever that come down. But, uh, yeah, just kind of wanted to show you guys the shop, um, while it's still a disaster. And then I'll share more, um, once I come up with a layout 
And yeah, excited to get these cabinets out of here, but I wanted to do this little video. So I'll walk through before I start tearing into this place and making it my own. But this is a shop I'll probably be in really long term. Uh, my wife and I and our family, we probably see ourselves staying in this house for 20 years or so. But let me know what you guys think of the shop. I'm excited to set it up and it'll be fun. Hope you guys are enjoying these vlog style videos. They're easy for me to do. They're quick. And I just like sharing this process. So, all right, guys. Well, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.